Greta Kandriva, Y12, Women's FA Champion, correct? Yes. All right, well, Greta, that's uh, only part of the list of accomplishments for you this week. Greta, walk us through the week from starting last Saturday. Okay, so um, the first day was cadets, and uh, I was fencing really well, and I placed fifth. So that was a real accomplishment. And the next day, um, I again fenced really well and placed tied for third in juniors. So I was really happy with that. And then the next day, I went on to fence Div 1, and I, fen uh, I placed ninth. So and that's a, that's a pretty spectacular week, uh, especially the, the junior and Div 1 accomplishments yeah. for uh, people actually in those age groups. Mm -hmm. Now you, Y12, winning this, taking bronze in the junior event, w what of all of the finishes has been your most, your proudest accomplishment? Um, I think between juniors and Div 1, it's, those are the top, maybe Div 1 a little bit more just because of how high people are ranked in that, and juniors is high too, but Div 1's a little bit, um, they're a little bit better, and uh, yeah. And you mentioned the ranking, uh, especially in the Div 1 component, you knocked off several people to, to get to that 9 spot, but you also, in doing so, knocked off some, some number one ranked people within their respective country. Yes. Are, are you aware of, of the rankings of the opponents you beat? Uh, yes, I am. And, and so your mindset approaching uh, the Div 1 event in particular, what, what was your approach and mentality leading into that event? Um, it was really just to go out and be confident and try my best and really take it one point at a time and not try to focus on who I'm fencing, just technique and style and to do my best. A very sound approach. Now, how does that compare to your approach to the other age groups? Um, the other age groups, I know who I'm fencing a little bit more just because I fence them so often, and but I still go at it as one touch at a time and try to just focus on each point. And, uh, you know, with that, uh, of all of the competitors you faced, who was the, the, the competitor that you felt was the most satisfying bout, win, win or lose? Um, I don't know. I think that beating Natalie Vi was pretty cool because just how, like, she was an alternate on the Olympics. Um, she's 29 and she's very high up there. So I national thought. National champion. Yeah, national champion. She's really a good fencer. So I thought that was pretty good accomplishment. And, and what does this mean for you? Is, what's the significance of, of this week? Uh, as far as your confidence level and your approach to training going forward? I mean, it's definitely a step up. I'm more confident with um, how I'm fencing and it, I'm just going to try to get better from there and improve on the mistakes or the slight things that I know to fix now. So it's just helping me improve more and more. And with this long week, you know, tomorrow is Saturday, it's, it's almost a complete week of fencing every other day for you. How are you feeling at this moment? Um, right now, I'm a little adrenaline rushed just because I've been fencing for a long time. But throughout the week, it's been tough and it's drained a lot for me um, with good competitors and just fencing all day. So it's been a good workout. Yeah. Well, congratulations on your gold and a and, uh, list of other medals that you'll be bringing home. Thank you. Thank you.